Good morning, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you on a tour of our 2009 Peugeot 308 luxury wagon this morning. Uh, we'll start at the front of the vehicle and uh, a beautiful finish in the Peugeot with all the chrome across the front. Uh, fog light standard in this particular model being the luxury. The Juco uh, presents really well. This car's been really well maintained. If I wanted to be super particular, a couple of small touch-ups on the bonnet there, um, but very minor. Uh, looking along the right-hand side of the car, notice factory alloy wheels on the car, and they're actually unscuffed, the alloys. They're pretty much as new, the way they came out of the factory. The tyres on the car are probably 90% tread, so uh, relatively new tyres as well. As we move down the side of the car, you'll notice the drivers and the rear doors, even the rear panels, um, all unblemished, so in really good condition. Even when we move around to the rear of the car, uh, even the uh, rear bumper bar where you'd expect if anything, you'd, you'd see a few scratches on that, it's actually unmarked as well. You will note on the rear bar, reverse sensors as standard being the luxury model. Moving down to the left-hand side of the car as well now, um, presents very, very similar to the right-hand side. Um, fairly well unmarked. If I want to be super particular, just a minor little mark there, which would probably polish out. Uh, very similar. The alloy wheels, apart from a very minor scuff on the left-hand rear, um, present very well also. As we come back down towards the front of the car, also, you will notice uh, this vehicle does have a panoramic roof. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail when we're, when we're inside the vehicle a little bit later. Um, but uh, overall presents from, from the outside as, as a really well made. We'll move around car. under the bonnet now, have a little bit of a chat about uh, the drivetrain of the Peugeot. Powered by a 1.6 litre turbo intercooled double overhead cam motor, uh, it delivers 103 kilowatts at the same time the Peugeot has, has a, lot, a lot to offer. Uh, fuel economy of 7.9 litres combined per 100 kilometres. So based on the fact we have a 60 litre fuel tank in this car, you're gonna derive over 750 kilometres to a tank of fuel. Um, really good economy and performance as well. Now, as we move around to the rear of the Peugeot, I'm gonna show you a number of different ways we can actually set this up. A lot of flexibility in the wagon as far as seating arrangements and also in the event that you need to store um, anything in the back there's a, a lot of variations as you can see it is a seven seater at present i've got two of the middle seats folded down and the third row seats folded down as well so basically if you do want to store anything large we can just tuck these seats up out of the way turn it into just like your normal five seater wagon you can actually remove these third row seats completely from the vehicle if you wish. Just a simple release of the little connectors there on the rods. Um, so plenty of flexibility in the third row. In the event that you want to utilise all of the seats, just a simple matter of pulling your release tag there and the seats are up into position. You'll notice there is still a bit of leg room even in the third row seats. So. Your passengers, probably up to the age of 15 years old, will sit comfortably in the rear. Now, just coming into that second row section that uh, we saw from outside the rear of the tailgate earlier, I've put the seats back into position. Um, one thing you will notice, the flexibility in the second row seats, they are actually adjustable forward and backwards. Um, so there's a fair bit of flexibility there. Your passengers in the rear also have the luxury of your little lunch trays and drink holders and obviously your controls for your air conditioning, which can be controlled in the back as well. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot to like about the flexibility of the car. Also, we'll just notice whilst we're still on the outside of the car, if we move inside the uh, passenger or driver's door, just on the outside of the two uh, front seats, you will notice these seats are heated. Um, really good for winter just to uh, keep you nice and tasty. Now that we move to the interior of the Peugeot uh, has a lot to offer. Um, we'll start on the driver's armrest on the driver's door. And you see here we have all our electric uh, window switches. Uh, you do have the ability to isolate the other power windows so that the kids can't use them. Uh, it does have the function to fold the mirrors in. When you do lock the car, they do automatically fold into the car as well. When we move to the steering wheel, you have adjustable height and reach in your steering wheel in the Peugeot. 
So you can set yourself up perfectly for um, complete comfort when driving. Just a simple matter of locking that into position once you've put it in its desired place. Obviously being a European car, our indicators are on the left hand side. You also have light sensitive headlights, so they will detect as it's getting darker at night. They'll automatically turn themselves on. Even if you drive into the Burnley Tunnel, it'll flick the headlights on automatically. On the right hand side, we have our wipers. Uh, with the wipers, they're actually rain sensitive as well, so they will detect when rain is hitting your windscreen. Um, an important thing to note about the windscreen, it is actually heat insulated as well, being a European build car. Um, so it does retain the heat inside the cabin um, on those cold days. Looking at our dashboard here in front of us, uh, very easy to read the dashboard. It does have your multifunction screen in front of us there, which does show you, as mentioned earlier, 7.8 litres per 100 k is currently reading uh, as far as economy goes, so outstanding fuel economy. Moving into the centre section here, you'll notice our pop-up screen. Now this does automatically pop up when we turn the, uh, turn the ignition on or you can manually close the screen if you don't, don't require it. You will see that we've got our sat nav up at the moment on screen um, and, and very easy, very easy unit to use the satellite navigation. Moving down below there now with all our vents for our air conditioning, one feature that not a lot of people actually realise in the Peugeots um, from factory was even built with air fresheners that you slide into the middle vent of your air conditioner. Um, just a matter of popping them in, lock it in position. And in the event that that one needs replacing, just in our glove box here, you'll notice we've got a couple of backup cartridges for your uh, air freshener. So quite an innov innovative function, but uh, once again, um, you know, a lot of thought went into the production of the car. Moving down below the vents now, you'll notice we do have uh, a manual button to turn the uh, rear sensors off. Um, also a manual button to turn off your uh, stability control. Uh, we have multi-function premium sound system in the Peugeot. Does also have factory Bluetooth, uh, MP3 compatible. It is a six stack in-dash CD player. And then down below that we have all of our um, climate control air conditioning. So we'll just move the uh, transmission stick out of the way. You'll see all your settings. We'll currently have it running on 18 and a half degrees. Um, vents all the way through to the uh, second row seats. So uh, real, really good heating and cooling system. Moving down into the actual transmission of the Peugeot now. We can drive this car in two functions. Drive it as a normal automatic car. We can also drive it in what's called sports shift, where we flick across to the left hand side here and it does indicate up on your dashboard that we've moved across into manual mode showing manual um, first gear up the top just a matter of manually moving through the gears which will only allow me to do one to two because we are sitting stationary uh, for city driving most people do just prefer to have it in normal drive we'll move it back up into the park position now do notice that we do have uh, an outlet here cigarette lighter which not many people utilize in this day and age and just behind that lighter you'll notice this button here which controls the actual cover to the panoramic roof so a simple flick of a button and it is automatic all the way you've got two options with the Peugeot you can open the uh, panoramic roof all the way which we've just done which happens automatically or you can have it partially open to whatever is desired in the instance that the kids don't want the extra light coming into the car in the rear, we, we can just close it so that the driver and passenger have the light coming in. Once again, just a more definite push on the button and it'll close, close the roof all the way automatically. And once again, a great feature to have. And once again, uh, being the luxury model in the Peugeot, uh, we do have a full leather interior. All the leather seats in this car are very, very much like new. This car has been really well maintained, which we'll get to shortly. Um, you do also have front side and curtain airbags. This helps the car achieve its five star ANCAP safety rating. So from, from a safety point of view for the family, uh, you can't get, you really can't get a safer car. And just as I mentioned, moving on to the service history now, um, we can confirm this is definitely a one female owner vehicle was traded on a new car here at our dealership. Uh, was purchased, purchased from Peugeot originally locally to us. And as you can see from the service books, 
full Peugeot service history all the way through. So the vehicle's been maintained to an outstanding level so far in its life. So just in summary, a few things that I want to just uh, point out again. Five star ANCAP safety rating, one female owner with outstanding service history. It's got the power if you want it, but you've got economy, 7.9 litres per 100 k's. As we saw inside the car, currently running at 7.8, uh, in excess of 750 kilometres to a tank of fuel. So a lot to like about this car, plenty to offer. I hope this has been of help to you. If you've got any further queries, don't hesitate to give us a call, 9907 0555. And thanks again for your time.